Sachem Wilson led Liberty in goal scored this past season. And for him, blasting the ball past the goalie is the ultimate thrill. There's absolutely nothing like that. Absolutely nothing like it. That's, that's uh, you know, everybody's got their gifts. You know, some people can sing, some people can dance, some can write, things like that. But the reason I play is just that, that feeling when the ball hits the back of the net. There's absolutely nothing like it. For Wilson, that feeling goes back to his childhood. He started playing the game at the age of four. His father, Theodore Wilson II, was the chaplain and bench coach at Brown University and played a major role in Satan's development. Once he saw that that's what I enjoyed, then um, he really poured himself into learning how the game was played and reading books and things like that. So I really appreciate him doing that, you know, for me. Wilson actually shares the same name as his father. His birth name is Theodore Wilson III. Along the way, he picked up a nickname. I grew up in Rhode Island for a little bit, obviously, and uh, there's a lot of Native American influence around there. And so um, the name Satrum means leader. And I, obviously, I didn't give myself that nickname, but um, it, just, it just sort of stuck. Let's go, Kurt. Good ball. He is everybody's biggest fan. And so, you know, every day he's trying to encourage somebody. He's trying to lift somebody else up. And it's always about somebody else for him. And so he's truly a servant. And so I think that humility and that willingness to serve others allows him to be successful. Through his success on the field, Satan's goal is to share the gospel. Every time he scores, the Liberty forward forms the cross with his arms. It's a celebration he's done for several years and believes that small act can touch countless lives. We were watching Barcelona play Real Madrid, which is called El Clasico. Those are the two best teams in Spain. And it was, uh, you know, something like 90,000 people in attendance and then hundreds of millions watching overall, like on TV, online, everything like that. I was watching that and, and one of the guys scored and I thought to myself, if I score in a game like that, and I do the cross, which is, is, it represents the cross of Christ, you know, and what he did in the gospel. I, just, I basically just share the gospel with 200 million people, you know, just like that. The gift of being a goal scorer is not one Wilson takes lightly. And for him, the game of soccer is about a lot more than wins and losses. He sees it as ministry. We've seen, you know, through people like Jeremy Lin and Tim Tebow and guys like that. And I'm not saying that I'm even headed in, in that kind of direction with that, that kind of stardom or anything like that. And that's not really my goal, but um, the impact that they were able to have for the gospel and for the kingdom, just because they were good at what they did and people asked them questions. I mean, that, that's what I want to do with my life. And Wilson lets his light shine through the game of soccer. That is a life of purpose.